Hello traders, welcome to LH Blue. This is Deepan Gogoi, and in this video, we will discuss about crude oil and its anti and exit point and uh, crude oil pattern. So, here you can see crude oil is forming uh, like uh, uh, head and shoulder pattern, like that probability. So, if you want to see the more details about the crude oil, so you just visit to our uh, LH Blue website. So, here you can see this is LH Blue website, right. So you go to the blocks. Uh, so yesterday I wrote about this uh, crude oil. Uh, the crude oil price is uh, price are uh, consolidating right now. So here you can see the crude oil. whole details are I mentioning. So here you can see the time frame, recommended uh, bar stop, uh, entry point, and exit point, stop loss, and uh, key level uh, in crude oil and alternative. Uh, scenario here you can see recommendations and sell stop and the exit point and key level everything uh, I mentioned so you can uh, read also what internationally the fundamental news is uh, happening in the world uh, so you can read the OPEC uh, meeting also going on and inventory everything and uh, after that you can read here the technically like uh, what current trend so you can see the current trend is a down like uh, in a daily chart not a small time frame i'm telling daily so you here, here you can see daily still uh, trend is down so by which indicator using i'm finding the trend so i'm mentioning here right so next what pattern they are going to form so here you can see the probability create a hard and shoulder pattern here so you can read here properly and you can see there uh, there is a big probability to create a head and shoulder pattern right so if they create a head and shoulder pattern so it will boom it will go up right they will create a neckline here so i'll tell you later okay so next you can read here uh like what is the support and resistance okay so by using which indicator uh, i'm finding the support and resistance right so you can see here everything i'm mentioning here and which indicator all i users read there and the support and resistance level also mentioning so next uh, what is the trading trips i already mentioned here right uh, I'm mentioning here so you can read properly and draw a line uh, if you wanna like uh, know about you just leave a comment so you can read properly uh, whole details about the crude oil so written by me so I think uh, today yeah today I posted uh, earlier morning uh, you can see here uh, this is uh, uh, me and uh, 8 February so today right so here uh, you can see uh, they are trying to create a head and shoulder pattern but the price are still down there, right so that means uh, when price is coming downside right so at that time they are creating some head and shoulder pattern for market reverse of uh, when they're trying to reverse the market so they're trying to get but this head and shoulder pattern is under construction not clearly done till now so under construction that is why i'm writing the probability to create a head and shoulder pattern right so if the price is coming toward so in that case we have to find out the support and resistance so if we are going for sell now well that, that means we have a position for the sell so where is our uh, target when we are selling anything so we have a support so where that means from where we can come out from the market right so in that case you can see here i just uh, want to draw some resistance uh, supporting line by connecting this yellow line so yellow line is most important line and this yellow line is ishimoku 60 period you can see here ishimoku input 60 right the exact about high probability to create a support and resistance line by that ishimoku 60 and uh, 26 line okay 
and uh, this is Kizusen line, Ishimoku Kizusen line. When Ishimoku is flatting here, you can see all automatically it is uh, like uh, supporting zoom, right? So, who people trying to uh, who people have a sell position, their next target will be around 3572. And from this area, it's a probability to go up market if they go up from this area and if they break this neckline, right? This neckline, so that means they will create a head and shoulder pattern and from this area start buying right so here you can see next uh, if you see in a 15 minute chart time frame for anti and exit and here uh, um, you can see here still prices running and this yellow line uh, why is the most important you can see the previously it's becoming a resistant right support broke the support market came down right this is most important basically i use for personal trading so you can see here previously also how they are uh, determining in the market so you can see this was their support broke down and came down market resistant gone up support strong support not able to break gone up broke down this support came down right and this is become a resistant not able to break market is reversing again trying to break market reverse break down and next trying to break not able to break and last they break this level and market came down right it's the most important i basically use okay so i'm thinking to create how to trade using this indicator i wanna i will make very shortly a video regarding this one so this is a little more complicated not too big complicated right so you can see last like that break gone up break came down right so here you can see becoming a strong support strong support right so how to use this indicator so i'll create so today you can see here um, just a minute okay so here you can see yesterday um, they broke here in this area so market came down row. so exactly i enter in this uh, like it was evening time uh, around 8 or 8 30 pm i think i forgot exactly what time was there uh, yeah no exactly 15 3 3 or 4 pm 4 pm around near to 4 pm yeah so broke this area even have you seen this one Moving average crossover here, but not able to break this line. But next, you can see here moving average cross by this candle, and this candle is forming below this uh, Ishimoku Kizusen line 60 period. Just I uh, entered here market. Could I sell direction? My SL was just above here, not exactly above. I keep it 200 moving average above around uh, three three thousand nine hundred. My SL was 3900. Let me show you. Uh, I'll tell you just a minute. My SL was exactly 3900. Just a minute. Uh, 905 was there. 905. 2905. Yeah, here was my SL. And my target was, you can see here, if you see in the daily, not a four hour chart. So exactly, I kept it here. Have you seen this moving average? Uh, have you seen this moving average? Uh, like uh, this is uh, 150 moving average. You exactly, I placed my target around 150 moving average. The, my target was around 374. Uh, Four five was three seven four five. My target was so. Let's see here. Mm. If you see in a fifteen minute time frame, so let me a little more zoom here. So here you can see my my anti point was here. So let's see. Uh, my anti point was here exactly in this area, and this is my SL was and 
this is my target so let's see my trading ratio okay so my trading ratio was you can see i entered here my trading ratio was uh, 60 or 70 point uh, 68 point or 70 point and my target was 90 so around 1.2 uh, uh, that means 1 is to 1.2 my trading ratio so i exactly hit my i came out from the market yesterday okay so here you can see today okay, where you're gonna enter in this market so that is why i i place a support line support of resistance line here exactly so you can see my target uh three uh, three nine or uh, three five nine nine or thirty six hundred so here you can see two target i here right if i want to sell it if i want to sell it here i want to sell it here my target will be three five uh, almost uh, uh, 3600 and uh, from that area i never gonna sell when market will come near, near uh, 3600 i never gonna sell it again because market in a daily trend they are going to uh, create a head and shoulder pattern and this is the retracement so if you are getting opportunity around uh, 3600 you just start buying from that area right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching